In January 2011, DePaul hosted the inaugural screening of the national cut of the groundbreaking documentary To Sable to Obama, Chicago's Black Metropolis, to help kick off Black History Month. Co-produced by documentary filmmakers Daniel Andres and Barbara Allen, the film examines the extraordinary impact that Chicago's African-American community has had on the world through the voices of its scholars, business leaders, politicians, community activists, and other leading citizens. Channel 11 in Chicago has had a long history of doing different ethnic groups in the city. We did Mexicans in Chicago, Polish in Chicago, Irish in Chicago, and with a black president from Chicago, it only made sense to do African Americans in Chicago. The documentary opens with Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable, who set up a trading post in what is now the city of Chicago in the 1780s and continues through to the 2008 election of Barack Obama, who became the 44th president of the United States. Barack Obama's rise is something that is hard to imagine any place but Chicago. It really highlights how vibrant uh, black Chicago is, that it is a scene of cultural and political activism, uh, and it really has given people a sense that uh, black Chicago is a place that people can emerge from and take leadership roles. When you look at the independent black institutions in this city, they outnumber any other city in the world. I'm talking about in terms of black theater, most certainly music, publishing, Chicago is like the center of gravity in the country and has been for some time. The screening was followed by a panel discussion that featured some of the film's makers and other black history experts. The panelists were co-producer Barbara Allen, Gail Baker, who wrote the documentary, Haki Madhubuti, DePaul's Ida B. Wells Barnett professor, and James Wolfinger, associate professor of history and education at DePaul. These kinds of documentaries, the accurate telling of a story of a people, is tremendously important because it has permanence. So from here on out, anybody who wants to tell the story of black America in Chicago will have this documentary as a foundation. There's certainly many other stories, so that in the future, if somebody decides to change this history, they'll find it quite difficult to do. Attendees of the screening and reception said they gained a deeper appreciation of the remarkable achievements of Chicago's African-American community. I think it's a valuable contribution to uh, the uh, creative side of Chicago. Black history is that missing part of American history. Because this is not just the history of black people. This is the history of America. This is everyone's history.